You ready to go? You got your tractor? Can I see your tractor? No. Can I see it? No? Okay. You're not gonna bring it? You can bring your tractor. You wanna bring it? We'll bring it to the car? No. He's saying no. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may have already seen one of these videos this week. The last one, I don't know what you've seen right now. I've got a couple of videos pre-filmed and ready to go up. And so if you've already seen a meal prep with me, that's because it was filmed last week. Um, but maybe this one would go up before that. I'm still not sure yet. Um, but I'm so excited to meal prep. I'm going to do breakfast and lunch, but I am so pumped for lunch today because it's like something that I've never done. It's like a little like one bowl thing in the oven. I don't know what you call it. Someone sent this to me and it was like right up my alley and I was like, I have to try this soon and it looks so good. So I'm so excited to try it. I hope it's good. If it's not, we'll try it together and I will let y'all know what I think about it. But it looks so, so delicious. So I'm gonna be meal prepping breakfast and lunch and sharing that with y'all. I got a small grocery order this morning. I just got done putting most of that up. But we're gonna start with breakfast. Let's meal prep a very easy breakfast this morning. Three point little breakfast sandwich this morning. Okay, so like I said, very easy. We're gonna do these Thomas um light multi-grain these are two points a piece i think i'm gonna be sure if you're new here i followed the ww plan so um that's for us when i say points two points a piece so we are gonna make this so so easy this is gonna be super easy for where's my spray okay super easy breakfast this week i'm gonna spray this and let this heat up we're gonna cook our eggs i'm gonna make how many are in here six of them. I'm going to go ahead and make them all. Okay, there's six in here, so we're going to make Monday through Saturday. Um, I'm going to grab a few more eggs. So, it's been a little bit since I've made like a breakfast meal prep, especially like a breakfast sandwich, and so um, I thought it'd be super easy to do this week, and it just sounded really good. Um, so, we're going to make just super, super easy. You can also add meat to this. I'm not going to add meat to mine today just to save that point but um, some turkey sausage or some center cut bacon would be so good on this too. I've made like different variations of this before, but we're just gonna keep it very easy. I am letting my pan heat up before I toss my egg in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put six pieces of aluminum foil. So that way, I'm go ahead and get this ready when these eggs are done. While I'm doing this, it is Monday, and so Monday is when I like to meal prep. I had a very off track weekend. I'd say Friday evening and then Saturday was more off track than I had planned. And that don't usually happen. Usually I try to stick to an off track like Saturday evening, like dinner and dessert. But this weekend was a little bit more than I typically do. What do we eat Friday? We eat, we ended up going to this Italian place and we love their Philly cheesesteaks. And I got Philly cheesesteaks and fries and ate the entire thing. And then Saturday, I think I did pretty good for the most part Saturday, but for that, for Saturday night, we ended up getting Olive Garden takeout. Ethan really wanted that. Um, and we, I spinach dip, they have the best spinach dip there, and then fettuccine Alfredo. And then we went to Crumble Cookie and I ate way too much of the Crumble Cookies. They just looked really good this week. So I had a very off track weekend and so I was like, let me start these eggs. So I said, you know what? We are gonna turn this around. We are gonna go ahead and get right back on track, which I did for the most part yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. Um, but I'm not gonna let that completely derail my progress. So getting right back on track today. Okay, while those are cooking, I'm gonna split these open and they will be ready for my eggs and cheese.
breakfast sandwiches. I just heated one up a little bit to eat now because I'm hungry. Um, two points for the English muffin, one for the cheese that I used, and zero for the egg. So very easy, pop it out, throw it in the microwave. And we've got a delicious, I might eat um, a little bit of cottage cheese with this because the protein. You want a bite? It's so good. Okay, I just got to eat it. I'm gonna have a banana to go with it. Do you want some banana? Okay. Um, when I say that is such a good meal prep, and it literally took like 10 minutes from start to finish, put them together, everything, the quickest, quickest breakfast meal prep, and it was so delicious. So Cal and I are gonna go split this to go with it. Okay, meal prep time for lunch. I am so excited for this week's meal prep. Someone sent this recipe to me, and let me see who it's from because I did not come up with this recipe. Stay Fit Mom Krista on Instagram. Someone sent me this recipe, and when I saw this, I was like, this looks exactly like something I would love. I hope it turns out good. It looks absolutely delicious. It is a chicken pesto bake. So it's all like you put it all in bowls, bake it in the oven, even put the lids on these same bowls. So I actually had to get new bowls at Walmart on my grocery order. These come with lids. I ordered a uh, two pack of these. They come with two, so I ordered four total. But Walmart only gave me one pack of them. So I only have two of these, and I don't have any other glass lids like this. So I'm what I'm going to do, because this is like super easy to make, I'm going to go ahead and make two of them up, and then on Wednesday when I need more, I can make another two up, because it really is just like throwing everything together, putting it in the oven. Um, so we're going to start this. I'm so excited to try it. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm using jasmine rice. I think she used basmati, basmati rice. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of jasmine rice in each one. Okay, and then I've got two chicken breasts. I'm gonna cut these up into like smaller bite-sized pieces. That's what I love about these recipes is you're not like having to pre-cook the chicken. It's just like super easy. It cooks all in one. Okay, so I've got this chicken. I'm gonna put all this on top of the rice. I don't think I'm gonna use it all. So what I'll do is just Stick it in the fridge to use on on Wednesday when I make more. Okay, and then I wash my hands to do the rest. So we're now gonna do. Um, I'm gonna stir this. This is pesto, traditional basil pesto. I'm gonna kind of stir it around, and we're gonna do a tablespoon of pesto Mom, each one. Mom, yes, ma'am. Did I watch Peppa Bruno? You wanna watch? Um, Pink Conto? Yeah. Yes, hold on just a second. This pesto smells so good. I love pesto. All right, now we're gonna do a tablespoon of this non-fat Greek yogurt, which if you're on w w w this is zero points. I'm gonna use the other side of this and do a tablespoon of each. And then we've got some chicken broth. I'm gonna do a fourth a cup in each one. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper both of these. Okay, we're gonna give this a really good stir. Get all this mixed in. Make sure that rice has been coated so hopefully it cooks well. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I just love, I love pesto anything. And it just smells so good. Okay, now I'm going to do some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to put just several of those. Making sure I have enough for the rest of the week. And then lastly, I'm gonna do some fat-free mozzarella. Um, I'm gonna do about a fourth of a cup. I'm not gonna worry about measuring it, which a fourth of a cup I think is zero points. I'm gonna have to go double check those points. And then I'm gonna spray the tops because it is fat-free cheese. And I feel like it melts a little bit easier. And it looks so good. I've got my oven preheated to 350. We're gonna bake these about 30 minutes until I know hopefully everything's done. Okay, 30 minutes later. It looks and smells, it looks and smells so good. I don't think I've ever been so excited to try a meal prep. It looks delicious. The cheese melted so well. The fat-free cheese that I used, I'm pumped. All right, so I've let this cool off for a bit. It looks so good. So let's dig into this. The bowl's still kind of hot. Dig into it and give it a try. Mm. 
Okay, that is actually like very good. Okay, that is really good with the tomatoes too. Everything is actually cooked really well. The rice is great. It's, I cooked it right at 30 minutes. Mm. The pesto oh, it is so good. This is such a good meal prep. So easy. I feel like you could do so much with making meal preps like this in these bowls, like throwing everything together. So I'm excited to see if I could come up with anything else, but this is so good. I'm so excited to eat this for the rest of the week. So definitely give this a try. I try to remember to type out the recipe below to try this, but I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for my morning as I meal prep my breakfast and lunch. Um, that's all actually going to be it for this video. Just I thought I'd bring y'all along a little bit for to try this mainly. And um, oh, I just spilled it all over my shirt. But hope y'all did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye. Mm -hmm.